Hey, let's put a cookie in there. Yeah, even locks like cookies, right? Charles? Yes? Do you like cookies? Ahem. This is a passive security system with a laser relay. I've seen stuff like this plenty of times. You need a color code. Unfortunately, we don't have any codes. You'll have to try to decipher it using logic. Seriously? Like I was gonna stand here until it turns off on its own. Yeah, the power's on. Let's head back. Well, which one? I suggest the one on the right. In other words, you don't actually know. In that case, I'm taking the one on the left. Another waypoint for ease of navigation. How dense do you think I am? I know where I need to go to complete my mission. I was only trying to make things easier for you. You can make things easier by getting off my grill. Hey, Chaz. Charles. <laughs> yeah. So, how'd Petrov get away? There are more soldiers here than civilians. Some people believe that Petrov had help. So he's not alone. But you said all his partners were eliminated, right? Who else is there? That information is not yet available. We only have speculation, not facts. Well, I'll cross that bridge when I get there. The door is electromagnetically locked. Are you freaking deaf or something? Pardon me, please continue. You can swim through polymer. I've done it before. It's nice, actually. Kind of like swimming with whales and dolphins in the ocean. It's so peaceful.
Reboot the control system to reactivate the line. How am I supposed to restart the line? There should be a control panel nearby. There's the control panel. And of course it's locked. You guys just love these things, don't you? But this is a new one. A combination lock. Ah, it'd take me a year to guess the combo. Look around. Maybe someone has the code. The schematic. Need to find the schematic. Uh, what was that? Something's got to move. Anything! <laughs> He's alive. Schematic. Need a schematic. Unfortunately, he's dead. We are surrounded by corpses. Why have you frozen just like everything here? They won't go. Nope. Won't go without the schematic. The dead have a residual neuropolymer memory and are capable of communicating for some time after death. ...is currently the only one of its kind. But in seven or eight years... USSR is planning to mass produce... Well, shit. Okay, so where's this diagram of yours? Schematic? The schematic, the one I need to move the cars. Where is it? The station master has it. He didn't make it. Wasn't as fast as me. He died. Everybody here is as dead as fuck. Did the station master die in this tunnel? This tunnel? He died. And everything froze. Right in front of my eyes. You need the schematic. Are you sure the Station Master has it? Does he take it with him everywhere he goes? He carries it with him. The Station Master, find him! Find him! Get the schematic! Got it. I'll look for it. Comrades. Maybe I should have said thank you. Holy shit, a talking corpse. What did you say, Comrade Major? You know, I fought in the whole war from beginning to end. I've seen some shit. But talking corpses, that's a new one. How the fuck is this even possible? It's a byproduct of lingering neuropolymer memory activity. Everyone killed here was polymerized. Their brains haven't decomposed yet, so they remain connected with the neuropolymer. Authorization. Major Nichayev, codename P3, access granted. Authorization. Major...
There it is. Go on, but that be the silly. I need to find that piece of paper. Where the heck did it go? Oh, it's so dark! Charles. So this isn't a dead person talking to me. It's the neuropolymer in his noggin, right? Crudely speaking, yes. As it fades away, neuropolymer memory temporarily stores the individual's last thoughts. Creepy. How long are they gonna talk for? I can't say exactly. Somewhere between a minute and a couple of days. But it seems the more time passes after death, the more corrupt the information becomes. I see. So the stuff they're saying isn't always that important. Poor bastards. Talking corpse. Let's head to the station. Get the cable cars online and get out of here. This works. Speed them up. The cable car line is activated. Welcome, passengers. We are ready to Please depart. take your seats according to the ticket. Nine. Sorry, no ticket. Eight. Seven. Six. Off we go. Ugh, this tunnel's messed up. It's gonna be a bumpy ride. find a way to move forward. But frankly, I'm having trouble figuring out how. Climbing the wall. That's how.
care of those wonderful, powerful, brilliantly designed machines. And now, oh, the irony. What are you talking about? The Burovs, our finest product. What a shame. Did you know we weren't allowed to sell them abroad? What's so ironic? Oh, it's ridiculous, really. I was a roboticist here, because I bring me one of the The control panels got buried under the rubble, and the debaters put me up. You worked on the Buravs? You built a big stuff somewhere that needs us. No, hardly anyone stops to think about what it used to be like here. And it's all thanks to a turn of the This is my stop. What a nice trip. Laser wall. That's some serious security. People put them up for a reason. You see one? That means there's something important on the other side. Quite right, Comrade Major. The distribution center we're looking for is, in fact, on the other side. There's no way I'm making it through a laser wall in one piece. I need to go through a laser wall, preferably alive. What a silly idea, honey. That's awful risky. You should stay with me instead. I'll do whatever you want. Ugh, just give me laser protection. Oh, so brutal. I'm shaking. Squirt your polymer inside me. Don't let her boss you around. We have no time to waste. Don't listen to him, big guy. He wants to drive us apart. Take off that stupid glove so we can stay together. All right, I get it. You'll get your polymer and your precious components. Just install the laser protection already. Whatever you say, stud. Upgrade initiated. Relax and enjoy. Just promise you'll talk dirty to Your me. defense system is active. Try to run through.
crap! That hurt! That thing packs a punch. I almost bought the farm there. Honey, I'm right as rain. The operation was totally painless. Good. You need to leave right now. There's a man coming for you. He's armed and wearing an experimental polymer glove. Must be Sechenov's guy. Larissa, did you talk to him? He was attacked by a Burav. We took him to the infirmary and then... Uh, I didn't know. I couldn't just let him bleed out. Well, you should have. It would have saved us a whole lot of trouble. It scares me when you talk like that. I'll meet you at the exit. I'm right behind you, honey. I just hope we're not too late. Hope can be dangerous. Hands up! Victor? What's going on? You deaf? Hands behind your head. Victor! The hell Victor. are you? Major Nachaya Special Operations. And that's the last question you get. You're going to Chelemay. Victor, save yourself! Chelemay. Of course, Comrade Major. Intrusion. Huh? Intrusion! Warning. Hey, freeze! Warning. Red alert. Lockdown in progress. Robots around. It's almost like there is property. And I locked the goddamn door. Petrov ran off with a mobile power source called the Candle. It powers the emergency lockdown system. This door cannot be opened without a candle. I'll find another one. There's got to be more than one candle in this complex, right? We need to hurry. Otherwise, Petrov will escape the sector and we'll have to track him down again. Charles, what's that birch tree encased in glass in the room down there? Is it the famous PEC-4 power generator? Indeed it is. The birch tree PEC-4 is a vegetative polymer-based power generator. It's an experimental model. The first step of our program to conquer the distant planets of the solar system. have to carry it like this the candle is a complex unstable piece of equipment it cannot be stowed in your backpack along with your other items there is a high probability of mutual destructuralization like an explosion not necessarily but the candle would be disabled so I'll have to carry it like this got it the candle is quite durable you can drop it or even throw it intentionally nothing will happen to it mm-hmm
That sounds like Petrov's voice. I hope that asshole's brains didn't get splattered all over the floor. like there was a containment breach in the algae workshop and experimental material. It looks like there was a containment breach in the algae workshop and experimental materials leaked out. That's actually good for us. all the holes have canisters of lunar soil in them. You eggheads sure love your fancy locks, don't you? Guess I'll go find some canisters. song but I like the girl's voice is that a radio of the future indeed it is professor Lebedev of the that stupid glove yet? Uh, don't count on it. I love it when you get angry. Yes, yes, scold me, punish me. I was a bad girl and strung up another disgusting creep. What? You killed someone again? Monster. But you haven't entered me for so long, big guy. I was so lonely. I had to blow off some steam. Enough. Do you like it, sugar? I did my best. This is cool. For real. Now, could you please not kill anyone else? <laughs> I just can't help myself. Hot stuff. Well, just do your best, okay? Oh, this is... Fucking crazy.
Charles, what does Petrov need with the repair vendor? Why would the sicko try to take control of Nora? Why would he even need weapons? He's got robots fighting for him. The traitor realized that employees confronted with hostile robots will defend themselves. And the soldiers defending the facility will attempt to get more powerful weapons. He must have been scared someone would bump into him by accident and shoot him like the traitorous piece of dog shit he is. That very well may be. Regardless, Petrov was unable to get his hands on a repair vendor. However, Nora's algorithms were still corrupted in a most hideous manner. I've got another one. Uh, done. I think it worked. You are now observing the Luna Memorial, a symbol of the Soviet lunar program. The USSR's first major victory in its open-ended space exploration mission. Whew, this place is huge. And it's got Sechenov's name written all over it. So, where are we? This is the seed bank, the heart of the Vavilov complex. Samples of seeds from all manner of plants are stored here so they can be cultivated to grow on the moon and Mars. These stunning and unique experiments are in danger of being lost forever. During the war, Vavilov's Leningrad stockpile Authorization. Major Nichayev, code name. Major. Shut up, Charles. No time for this. Warning. Microclimate abnormality detected inside the seed bank vault. Sample container integrity compromised.
system failure. All personnel evacuate the seabed immediately.